Okay, so today I will be showing uh, you how to um, turn Mario into Luigi, sort of, in Super Mario 64. This doesn't act, um, it doesn't look exactly like Luigi, and it, the sounds are still Mario sounds, but, um, so this is as good as a lot of people can get to, or this is as good as I can get to. I don't know how to change the heads up display yet, but anyway, um, I will do this now. So first of all, uh, you will need to um, uh, extend your ROM with the Mario 64 ROM extender. And um, otherwise, in, if you put it into Toad's tool, it won't accept it. Otherwise, you have to extend it. So let's go through and do that now. And you can just ignore this. And you hit open ROM. Uh, desktop. My cat's name is Mitty. Uh, tools. And Super Mario 64 U and the parentheses that Z64. So click on that and hit uh, open. And it'll go through and do in. It'll decompress and move the MIO0 data. Send that in and then send out this. Only that one is extended. Now I'm using Windows 7. And so this will vary depending on what operating system and um, how old your computer is and how much RAM it has. Now it's remapping players. Now it's done. So. There's not usually anything in the debugger. So, you just hit close. Now there's a freshly extended one right there. And so I will pull it up. And I will turn off the cheat codes. And I will reset it. to show you that it is actually Mario. See, it's Mario. And, um... Oh. And, um, anyway, so yeah, that's normal Mario right there. And then, the only difference between this one and this one, other than the fact that the name, the file name is different, this one is, down here you can see 24 megabytes, while this one is only 8. And then, so, now, we will take Toad's Tool 64 version 0.5994B and open it and double click in here and it'll ask for a uh, file so we go to desktop and then we go to Here and tools, we open the extended one, not the normal one, the extended ROM. It'll do all the stuff it does. Might take a while the first time that you um, 
every time that you load a ROM the first time, or yeah, and then it draws the level. That usually takes only a few seconds. Okay, so the next part, as you can see, this is the castle grounds. So I want to go to edit textures. Now we are in here, and M is that's Mario's cap. So now we have to find the L is real two four o one. Uh. Thing, the star that is behind the castle grounds. I'm still trying, trying to find. Ah, there it is. That was real two four zero one. I don't remember anything about that. So then we go down here. And we highlight this under Mario size. We change it to L. Is real and you hit enter now the colors are luigi and the size is 1.5 so i think we have to save colors to the rom i can't remember if we have to and then we just uh close this now it's saved and then we open this Now it's Luigi colors. Uh, please note that um, the sounds are not Luigi sounds. It's still Mario. And another thing is, notice how far apart um, his arms are from his head. With Mario, that's not the case. Now let's go um, inside the castle. Actually, I'll pause Cam Studio for a second. And I will... Um, Get the. I will go to the secret slide and get that star and show you what I. Another thing that I mean. So now I'm playing the secret slide and I want to ground pound this and um. Actually, if you long jump like what I tried to do, I didn't do it right. But if you long jump, you can actually make it down to the end of the slide within the time limit to get another extra star. And then the, uh, another thing is the icon for health. And then there's a life up here. The icon for the health, I mean the lives, up here, it's still Mario. It's not Luigi. And, um, so... And then... So that mean looks like Luigi's kind of tall. Now watch that. That's just Mario. And that's just Mario squished up. There's a there is quite a big difference there, like that. Okay. Goodbye.